Hello, and welcome back to Dancers vs. Food, where I try to teach you how to eat with or without your dancers. Somebody asked me how I make my bacon and eggs so good, and I cook them on a griddle outside. I'm going to get the bacon. I keep my little press on the, on the griddle as it's heating up, and this is very hot now. I've got it on high heat. And then I get my bacon going. Listen to that sizzle, huh? Now the reason I'm laying them crossed this way is because the flames are right here. And we'll check back in a few minutes. You just have to be patient with this stuff. Let it cook. Time to flip. That is what you get when you just let things cook. Let that cook for a few more minutes and then I'll get my eggs going. It generally does not take as long on the other side as it does on the first side. And put those on a paper towel. Scrape down the grill. Move some bacon grease around. We need that grease up here on the grill. And one egg at a time, nice and slow. Stay up there, egg. All right. Normally, I would salt and pepper everything at this stage of the game, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to move these up a little closer together because I need to be able to put a lid or dome on here. Then what I do, just a little splash of water. And we wait. We flip our bacon open on, over on the paper towel so it has a chance to degrease both sides. Like so. And we carry this in the house and we put our bacon on our plate. And if you couldn't tell already, I really like bacon. Not quite. A little ways to go. One more shot of water. I want the tops to be done, but I want the yolks to be runny. I could flip them but I prefer to just let them cook this way. And at this point, turn off the grill. They'll finish cooking on their own. And we should be pretty doggone, pretty doggone close. We're almost there. 
another couple of seconds. So that's how I cook my bacon and eggs. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Sunny side up eggs. Perfectly cooked. The whites is all done. No slime. But I mash them all up together anyway, so even if the whites weren't completely done, it wouldn't really matter. That's it. Now I gotta let the grill cool off so I can eat, so I can uh, put it away. <sighs> My neighbor's running his uh, Harley that he bought from my brother. Gotta get my gum out of my mouth. Of course, I've gotta have my coffee. So, this isn't a restaurant video, but you can eat good at home and the more you practice at home and the better you get the easier it will be for you to eat in a restaurant so I haven't done a home video in a while so I'm just kind of uh, going back over some things you know um, I always say in a lot of my videos I've said practice at home and I mean practice at, practice at home. And I personally like to eat at home. There ain't a restaurant out there that can make my eggs this way. They always either make the eggs, the yolks too done or the whites not done enough. And I don't like that. I like my whites to be completely cooked and I like my yolks to be completely runny. I don't want any hard yolk in there and it's not easy to do I mean you got to practice you got to get used to how to cook them but I like to mash my eggs up together because it's just it all tastes the same but I like the yolk and the egg white taste together so my delicious bacon not overcooked Granted, that is harder to bite through than it would be if it was crispy. But bacon has a lot, a lot of essential nutrients that your body needs. You can look it up. Bacon has a lot of nutrients. And when you overcook it, that's when you lose the nutrients. This is really good, guys. I eat this every morning. Unless I'm going out to do a food video. In a restaurant. Or standing next to the bike or whatever the case may be. When I go out to do food videos, I eat a lot of carbs and breads and things like that that I don't eat at home. So, I generally try to make that my only meal for the day when I'm eating in a restaurant. Like the last video eating those tacos. Granted, they were delicious but I'm trying to watch my weight.
I used to only eat when I was literally starving, shaking. I was so hungry I was shaking and I had to force myself to eat because I had a bunch of rotten, nasty, broken teeth in my mouth. And it was more painful to eat than it was to just be hungry. Since getting my dentures and learning how to use them, I became a food fanatic. I've been eating everything in sight. And I learned how to eat everything, no matter what it was, I could eat it. Something else I want to point out. When you're eating, and you can hear it yourself, when you're eating and you hear your teeth going, every time you chew down, You're chewing too hard. You don't need to do that. If you're chewing down so hard on one side of your mouth that the teeth on the other side are clacking, you're chewing down too hard. Lightly chew, move the food around with your tongue You'll feel it breaking up. You don't have to chew so hard that your teeth come together. We didn't do that with natural teeth because gnashing our teeth together caused pain. So why are we doing it with our dentures? I know it's psychological. We think that we have to chew down hard enough to make teeth touch. And you don't have to. You want to mulch your food, not smash it. Chew, roll. Chew, roll. Chew, roll. As I'm chewing, I am constantly flipping that food with my tongue. Obviously, keeping the tongue out of the way of the teeth so you don't bite it. But yeah, you do the same thing when you had natural teeth, you just didn't focus on it because it came naturally. I got to tell you. There ain't a restaurant out there that I found that I can afford to go to that can make my eggs this way. If if you want to see how I cook a perfect steak on the griddle, perfect medium rare steak, tender as hell, cheap steak. I buy top sorling. I don't buy the expensive stuff. I get 
like six little steaks in a package for 15 bucks. They are amazing steaks when they're cooked correctly. If you want to see me cook one of those, show you how to do that. It works the same on the griddle as it does in a cast iron uh, skillet or a carbon steel skillet. I don't use non-stick. But I like to cook it on the grill. So if you want to see that, throw me a comment, let me know. Maybe that'll be my next video. I'll show you how to cook the perfect steak on a griddle. Maybe you'll buy a griddle. Maybe you'll start using it. Maybe you'll start eating healthier and eating more things that you assume you can't eat. When you realize how to cook something properly, like your bacon, things of that nature, and you practice at home eating it, then no matter what they throw at you at a restaurant, you'll still be able to eat it. So I'm going to finish my eggs. Mm. And my bacon before everything gets too cold. My cat. I'm watching her. She's funny. Anyway, I'm going to be doing some more eating out videos, but just like you, I live paycheck to paycheck. But I want to keep the videos coming. So if you want to see me cook a perfect steak on the griddle, let me know. I'll fire up the griddle in my next video, show you how to cook a perfect steak. Otherwise, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it already. And please continue to share my videos. And again, for everybody that's clicking that thanks button, I greatly appreciate it. I can't tell you or express in words how much that means to me. So, Sorry, I was trying to, I'm watching the timer on the video. I don't want to make it too long. I will see you in my next video.